Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial about massing components in Visual CGA with ArcGIS City Engine 2024. If you missed the first tutorial, make sure to check it out to learn how this whole master plan has been put together. This time, we are going to have a look into facades and materials that can be applied to our massing models. Let's focus on one building in particular to see how it works. If we open the rule file applied to this block, we can see the VCGA graph behind this massing design. To understand how all these nodes work, I must refer to the excellent tutorial available on the topic where all components are described in detail. But for now, I'll just give you a general overview of the essential. The initial shape. This is the true starting point which is the lot or the parcel basically connected to everything in the graph. The report parcel area node is needed to create the reports that will display on the dashboards. Exterior green yard creates green space. In this case, if connected to the main initial shape, it will cover the whole parcel. The setback. In this case, we have a setback applied that it's dividing the parcel in two halves. Slab and tower, these two are the massing components which create that specific building typology on both halves of the parcel. And finally, the floor splitter. This is a very important component because it's the one that actually subdivides the building volume into floors. We created two of them one to subdivide the slabs and other for the towers. Now, if we look at the extension points of the floor splitter, we can see how they point to different floor groups of the building. Well, it's exactly there that we have to plug in our facade designs. For example, right click on the canvas, add node, custom, VCGA designs, New Materials Demo, Components, Facade Residential. We plug it directly into one of the floor groups, for example, the regular floor, and the facade gets generated. Now, if we click on the gray ball of the facade component, it will expose its attributes on the inspector. We just have to locate the facade and we'll see the parts of the building whose materials can be edited. In this case, we can edit the material of the wall, the window frames and two kind of glasses. If we expand any material, we get to see this little icon that takes us to the material browser. Here, we can browse through the available materials. Click one time to preview a material in the scene and finally click on Apply to assign it to the corresponding building parts. This material library contains new improved materials that have been carefully designed to work not only in City Engine, but also in Scene Viewer and Unreal Engine. Furthermore, they have been created for architectural use in real-world scale. This means that if your UVs have been set up correctly, one meter on the model will match one meter on the material texture. And it's that easy that we can test and apply facades and materials on our massing volumes. Let's have a look at how a completed VCGA design with facades and materials looks like. In the rule folder, VCGA designs, new materials demo, we included two designs that we can apply directly to these two buildings in the scene. Same way as before, we can use the material browser to try different materials on our buildings. 
Of course, the Facade and Material library will keep growing in time with every new release. So stay tuned for new exciting updates. Well, that's all for this little demo. I hope it will help you to refine your massing studies with good-looking realistic buildings. Thanks for watching.